What's up, YouTube? <coughs> Put this out so I don't get monetized. But, um, I felt some type of way because, um, this dude bought this tiger fish. And at what point, you know, as a hobbyist, do you do you say something? Because it's like it was about a 15, 16 year old child, right? And the mom was with him. You know, there wasn't an adult that was buying this African tiger fish. And it wasn't the Goliath, but still. You know, the other tiger fish still gets I think it was an African Goliath tiger fish. I'm not sure which species of them. Either way, it's kind of irresponsible to even sell them. You know, but in my excitement of even seeing one in the hobby in the first place, because I've seen them online. But even I know, like, so there's like a level of responsibility of should not do. And that's just one of them. And as I was trying to videotape it, you can see the dude was clearly trying to, like, he was blocking. He didn't want me to get it in the video and I respected it and I backed off because I know the guy um, dude's a real good dude but he has questionable fish and the tiger fish and the gooch is another one that is questionable these, are, these aren't small fish these are very very large fish and a uh, tiger fish is a kerosene it's, a, it's the African very larger because very large cousin to the South American um, uh, piranha. So as I'm thinking to myself, and I'm looking at the dude. I'm like, that's an African tiger fish. Like you're getting a tiger fish. I'm like, that's sick. And I'm thinking to myself, and then I look over and I'm seeing the mom. And she's like, she's looking like, yay, I did great. Like you know, she's, you know, because she's getting affirmation from other people in the hobby. Like so, obviously, this lady does not know what she's buying. And, I'm, and like, it doesn't hit me till later because there's like, like, do I say something to mess up this $129 sale for this dude? Like, um, uh, ma'am, you shouldn't buy that for your son. Cause it, it's like, I got, a, I had the feeling like the kid probably saw Jeremy Wade river monsters and seen this fish and knows what he's getting. But the mom has no idea. She probably, if she knew what she was buying, would say no. Because she doesn't know what she's going to buy. <clears throat> and I feel like I should have said something. Because this is how fish end up in waterways that don't belong in, especially in the California waterway. Something like that but does not belong in the California waterway. Uh, doesn't belong in any state's waterway for that matter. But I'm just saying with the um, diverse... Uh, With the diverse waterways that we have here, in Florida is another one, the very diverse waterways. Something like that would just totally destroy and wreak havoc on our ecosystem. Whether it was able to breed with another fish or not, just the, the, the eating habit of it would just desecrate almost everything out there. And our freshwater systems, like, I don't know what would, you know, what can sustain a, a monster like that. I'm sure, like, people would say, oh, maybe you're doing too much. It's just one. It might get too cold. It'll probably just die. But what if it don't? And, like, that was weeks ago, but it's still bothering me. Like, it's still haunting me. Like, damn, this kid just bought a tiger fish. You know, because somebody like me, if I had bought it, which I still wouldn't have, simply for the fact I can't afford nothing like that. Like, it, just the the tank alone, you know, your minimum tank has to be 125 gallons. So you're, yeah, that's a thousand dollars right there, just just out of just the Petco 125 gallon tank right there. The affordable, you know, what you would call a budget tank buy. The tank alone is $999. Black Friday sale, 666. 
And I know that because I missed the opportunity to, to buy it when I should have going to go visit friends out in Oklahoma when I should have bought the tank. Which is long story short, I should have just went and bought the tank. I'd have been a lot happier. Um, anyway, so when you're getting into spending money on this African tiger fish, your tank alone is $1,000. Your filtration system, because you got to have a FX6. I mean, you can buy something smaller, but you're going to end up with a FX6 or some other company's high-end uh, um, filtration system. So, <clears throat> that being said, there's another four to another thousand dollars tacked on. So you had two thousand dollars just for your filtration and your um, and your tank. So you're looking at somewhere roughly thirty five hundred. I'm not saying the lady probably didn't already couldn't afford it or didn't already have it. I'm just saying I hope the lady did because the look in the lady's eyes looked like she didn't know what she was buying. She's because she was just going off of the affirmation from everybody in the room, just knowing that that was in the room. Like a lot of people were just like, oh, it's African tiger fish. Like we were just all like African tiger fish, African tiger fish. Like we're all grabbing phones out. We're oh, trying to get it. And he's like, you know, you know, the sales guy's like, close up on the tank like how I'm on the screen you know he's on the tank like I'm on the screen like this you know what I'm saying he don't want nobody to see this fish and he's just like he's getting into the bag he's getting them to the to the and he's out and then he's talking to me you know about the uh the Polinis because you know the Madagascar Polinis you know not, not not such a big deal you know it is such a big deal as in you don't see them you don't really see uh Madagascar uh, cichlids or the Polini or the Galaxy cichlid. You don't see that very common in fish stores. Like just going into a fish store, you're not going to see that in a pet co or a pet club or fish. Exp you're not going to see that in your in your normal local fish store. But when you're talking about the Asian fish trade in Chinatown out here in uh, San Francisco. It's limitless what you're gonna see out here. Like I, I have seen fish out here that, like I said, are questionable. And there are reasons why I go to some of these fish stores and I don't have a lot of content because I go to some of these pet stores and there are signs that say no videos allowed. There, there are strict no videos, no cameras, no. My bad, y'all, because I was, that was clear, clear as day. Even I could see that. I had apologize. <laughs> but so, um, yes, sir. So, um, yeah, there are, there are reasons why some people are like, oh, it's supposed to be a channel. There's not a lot of content. That's the reason why. Because when you go to some of these Asian uh, pet stores, they'll say, hey, you can't, hey, there are things out here that, um, they don't want you to see out here. Uh, piranhas being a lot of them sell piranhas and highly illegal in California, but I have seen Garibaldi's, um, another highly illegal fish to own. Well, not uh, state where I've seen them at. Um, that is the California state uh, fish for the ocean, but they are uh, highly illegal to own and I have seen them for sale so there are there are reasons why I don't have content um, and have some of the content that I do have and some of the same places because they allow it but this one particular one that I do show content in where I got my my uh, cichlids happen to have a tiger fish and they happen to have a uh, goonch and the goonch is another fish I don't think is uh a fish that should be in the hobby. It's just, why? Because what are you going to do with this catfish when it gets six feet long and has teeth and can possibly, like, bite and maim you because it's got teeth? You know, it's that big. Like, like, 
And it's no longer there. So somebody bought it. <clears throat> I don't think shovel noses should be in the um hobby. At all. I mean, they're beautiful fish. I've seen them when they get bigger. He's got a tank that's like 600 gallons. And, you know, he's got like three of them in there. They don't really look all that happy because there's not really much room for them to go. They just kind of sit at the bottom of the tank. And, you know, I don't think that's just really just... Because I wanted to shovel nose at first just because they're just cool looking. And then I just see how they look in the tanks in any of these pet stores tanks that I go to. And they don't look happy because there's four or five of them in this four foot tank so it's not really that big when you're thinking of a two foot animal you know these are you know 28 inches and, you know these are huge animals you know arm you know your arm is probably the length of some of these fish you know, that's that's a juvenile at, you know, 18, 20 some inches. I'm six feet tall, so my arm is about three feet long. So some of these fish are, it's four or five of these in a, in a six foot tank. So one sitting at the top, two sitting at the bottom, you know maybe three in there, you know what I'm saying? Be more realistic, maybe over-exaggerating five or six, there's maybe three in there. But that's how, you know, that's probably how they feel. They, they probably feel like it's five or six. So back to the tiger fish. Yeah, because it's not really rambling. I just, at what point, it's just like I was saying, like, how do you, because I didn't know how to feel. Like, it's like, when the excitement finally kicked in, I didn't know what I didn't know rather know whether to, to say something to the guy like, "Hey, maybe you shouldn't sell it to them. They don't look like they're equipped or adequate for that." Or do I say something to do you, do you say something to the parent and say, "Hey, hey, you shouldn't get that for your child," or do you just shut the hell up and just mind your own business like I did and turn a blind eye? But is that part of the problem too? Like you know what I'm saying? is not saying something being part of the problem. And I just think that at what part of the of the fish game, what part of the hobbies do 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 we say enough is enough that some fish just shouldn't be sold to make a buck. There's a moral and responsibility code that we should have as people. Especially in the business end of it. Do do some of these fish deserve or need to be sold and does that tiger fish need to be sold am i wrong for not saying nothing like or like or should i not should i not feel bad like because i feel bad i feel like i should have said something now because i feel like what's gonna happen is this fish is gonna get way too bit too, way too overwhelming it's gonna get unpleasant for the kid to even want to keep anymore once it gets to a certain size the mom or the mom's going to get overwhelmed with the amount of money she's going to spend feeding this thing. And then they're either going to give it to a friend who can't afford it or it's going to get snuck out somewhere in one of these river systems. They're just going to drive it somewhere and say, you know what, it's a fish. Like some of these goldfish that end up in these ribs and it's gonna end up hurting somebody or wreak and have, or, or definitely, it's not gonna be a or, it's gonna definitely wreak havoc on our ecosystem one of these days in California. Or it's gonna end up hurting somebody because they release it in one of these rivers or lakes that people often frequent that they don't know and they're not going to know what's in there and it's going to end up biting somebody and hurting somebody maybe end up possibly killing somebody because let's face it this is a tiger fish this is something that grows three to three to six feet long and is a and is known in africa to attack people. there's like this thing attacks people in in its homeland
in the wild, this thing attacks people. They don't go swimming. Hippos, alligators, these things. And this guy just bought one. And there's now one somewhere in California, in the Bay Area somewhere. So, yeah, man. Kind of a nightmare. It's been a nightmare thinking about this shit, man. Fuck.